You are welcome to the winning platform tagged Winning by Knowledge. The Holy Spirit is a divine facilitator, but not a replacement for the human brain. Knowledge, wisdom, and understanding are three keys that propel great success. The grace of God has brought us freedom, divine enablement, and unlimited favor. However, the grace that is abused will be lost. Any knowledge acquired but not applied has no profitable value. This platform, Winning by Knowledge, teaches a balance between personal responsibility and spiritual enablement as keys to unlimited success. You are welcome to this edition of Winning by Knowledge, anchored by Dr. Victor Falak, a pastor, a teacher, and a human resource developer. Empowers can guide you. The raw materials for converting a follower to a leader is loyalty. Did you hear that? Praise the Lord. The raw material for converting a follower to a leader is loyalty. You are about to watch extracts from the Leadership Governance Jalingo October 2020 conference. Hallelujah. You know your church members, you know who they are, you know the business they do, you know the work they do, you know their earnings, you know their financial capabilities, and all that. The amount is that will be given to you. If you are a leader in the church, you are a pastor, in your right conscience, something should tell you that I should ask questions about this money. Hello? Pastors, are we hearing ourselves? We are not talking for ourselves, hallelujah. If I have a brother in the church and I know that his salary is 20,000 naira per month, and suddenly he comes up and says, Wow, Papa, I want to sow a 10 jealousy. And he put 1 million in your hand. He says, ah, Why is the anointing oil? Give me the oil. You need that Let me bless you. Get me out. They tell police or EFCC will come tomorrow, they also pick you. Because he's going to show those he shared the money with them. Praise the Lord. So I'm not just about that, you should be able to guide me. You should be able to guide her. Oh, thank you, God bless you. Just hold on with the money. Ah, what happened? This breakthrough from where? He said, ah, Papa, I did business on one business. Business has a name now. Business, you know, a lot of people just come on that business. What business? Did you say one trailer of uh, diesel or petrol? Let me know. Even kidnapping is a business. I'm not a business. Business is anything that keeps you busy. That's business. That's why the church will be church is business. Hello? Some of you are looking very religious now. Church is business. <laughs> we're church people. We are looking very religious. When the parents of Jesus were looking for you, what did he answer them? He said, I went about doing a kind of business. Is that what Jesus said? Because when we hear business, it's money that is ringing in our mind. Ah, pastor said, church is business. Church is business. No one that this clothes is wearing, I know it's church money. He said, church is business. Church is business. Praise God. So business is anything that keeps you busy. Praise the Lord. So we are saying that don't accept what? Suspicious gift in Matthew chapter 2, verse 7 to 8. Then Herod, when he had privily called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child. And when ye have found him, bring war again that I may come and worship him also. What a suspicious gift. He made an offer to them. When you find it, bring me results. So that I will also want to go and want to worship him. Was that a true worship? We know he was looking for the life of Jesus. That was fair. So it's not anything that anybody offers to you. He offered a worship. 
He offered the worship, but they offered him a mosaic that I might also go and worship him. So it's not anything that is given to you that is real. Praise the Lord. So that's why we are saying that do not accept, uh, give that a suspicion. Do not accept gifts that will influence your decision. Ethical this is very important when it comes to financial matters. Do not accept gifts that will influence your decision. In Proverbs chapter 17, verse 23 to 24. The Bible says, a wicked man accepts a bride behind the back to pervert the ways of justice. In verse 24, wisdom is in the sight of him who has understanding. Wisdom is in the sight of him that has understanding. So you need to get this understanding that they are some give. Why is the understanding we are talking or trying to live here? If for example, uh, there are some couples that maybe they, they have some problems in the home, there's a crisis in the home, the wife, the husband, they are trying to settle an issue, you know, an order. And in the process of it, the husband that has never given me a seat, some money to say, oh, God bless you, darling, you 10,000 naira. He has never given me anything all the while. And while the case is to appear before me, he suddenly appears with an envelope of 50,000 naira. I say, God bless you, Tani, with this 50,000 naira. And the case is coming up later that day. What do you think he's doing? When you accept that gift, what do you think is going to happen? Is this not going to influence your decision? That you just collected 50,000 naira in the morning. And he's coming in the evening with his wife for a case before you. With that 50,000 naira that is still warm in your pocket, are you going to be attacking that man before your wife? Are you going to tell you the truth before your wife? Because something, somehow, you will try to hide the truth and some will say they're a wisdom. A lie is a lie. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. So we are saying that one, don't accept what any gift that will influence your decision. Minimize or avoid business transactions with your members. Avoid or minimize business transactions with your members. If you are into market, we're talking about market business now, financial transactions now. Please minimize it or stop it if you can. Because it has its own implications. For those that are into business, partnership businesses, they will tell you about that. Stay tuned. The Leadership Governance Jalingo 2021 is here. It is an interdenominational ministers conference that deals with church leadership and church governance with the theme, Becoming a Better Leader Through Loyalty and Followership. You can be as brilliant as anything. If you are not loyal to your master, you will not gain access to his heart. This year, the 2021 edition promises to be better. Over 23 books authored by the convener, Dr. Victor Falak, will be on display. The raw materials for converting a follower to a leader is loyalty. Only registered participants will be entitled to a copy each of the book titled Pastoral Loyalty and Followership, along with other inspiring conference materials. Date 13th and 14th October 2021, time 7 a.m. daily, Venue Khan Secretariat Jalingo. For participation, hurry now and register at www.godsgraceandlove.org forward slash register. Be there. Words of wisdom for today. The grace of God is that extra force added to human by God that makes an ordinary human being to become extraordinary. Extracted from the book what grace is this? Authored by Reverend Dr. Victor Farlock. Welcome back. Because it has its own implications. For those that are into business, partnership businesses, they will tell you about that. If you are into partnership business, along the way you are going to have issues. You are going to have trials. You are going to have some challenges here and there. And you quarrel with your partner, you agree. You find with your partner, you agree. When it gets worse, your pathways. When you're in your partnership business, you worry about profitability. Oh, I don't trust you. How much was the profit? Can we call the man and ask him and all that? Are you supposed to be doing that with your member? It will bring crisis and it will make 
your uh, what do you call it? Your respect to dwindle. And as soon as something even goes wrong with that business money, that is the time that that brother will remove his brotherly gown and tell you that he was an unbeliever before he came to church. And we need to produce that money. That's why you're telling that a member and pastor are fighting. You find out what is the problem. They had a business transaction and things went wrong. We are not saying pastors shouldn't do business. That's not what I'm saying. We encourage pastors to go into entrepreneurship. But we are saying, why I'm saying that, let us minimize. And if possible, you can even cut off to be doing business transactions with your church members. It has a lot of implication. In Genesis chapter 13, verse 7, the Bible says, and there was a strife between the headsmen of Abraham's cattle and the headsmen of Lord's cattle. And there was a, a strife between the headmen of Abraham's cattle and the headmen of Lord's cattle. So these were two partners, they were two brothers. Then because they were doing business together within the same environment, we all know the story of what happened. Praise the Lord. May thank God for the wisdom of Abraham. Do not go into suspicious business transactions. Any business transaction that raises a question of how this kind of business pastor is doing, is it not okay? They are smuggling. This business that pastor is doing, is it not trafficking? This business, you know, any business that will raise suspiciousness, please and please don't go into that kind of business. In 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 20 to 21, from the Good News Translation, it says, We are being careful not to stir up any complaints among the way we handle this generous gift. We are being what? Careful. We are being what? So let's be careful about the kind of business we get into. In verse 21, our purpose is to do what is right, not only in the sight of the Lord, but also in the sight of others. So avoid such businesses. For instance, stop selling or buying business goods from the black market. You are a pastor, you are doing business good. It's good for you to do business. You know, you know black markets are markets that are banned by the government. You can be arrested there at any time. Imagine you are a pastor and they are putting handcuffs on you that they caught you in the black market. And your members are bringing food to you in the cell. And they are telling you, Papa, you shall be well. Papa, we are going to have night with you today for your release. What are you releasing? What took you to that black market in the first place? The things you must avoid, avoid them. Praise the Lord. The things we must avoid, avoid them. Stop buying or selling criminally suspected goods. It's not good for you. Stop doing business that are only operational at night. Please, pastors, any business that is only at night, you leave your house and tell your wife, I'm going for business. And it's only at night that they do that business. Please avoid that business. Devils operate only at night. Ambrose operate at night and all that. Any business that is always night, 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 please avoid it. Do not borrow money you cannot repay. Praise the Lord. When you borrow money, there are implications of the money you borrow. So don't borrow money that you cannot repay. When you borrow money, they will charge you interest. That is cost of what you are borrowing. When you borrow money, there is inconvenience of that money you are paying. When your salary is coming, they are taking it away from you. So when you are borrowing, there are cost implications. Luke 12 verse 28, Jesus said, For which of you, intending to build a tower, does not sit down first and count the cost? If you are borrowing money, there is cost for the money you are borrowing. Embarrassment is part of the cost. When things go wrong and the, 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 the lender calls police for you, that is part of the cost. If you know you are going to default, the costs are plenty. If your salary comes, they'll take away your salary to pay the lender, that is part of the cost. So count the cost. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And as we give to these ethics, we pray that these ethics will help you, will help your ministry, will add flesh to your ministry, will prepare things in your ministry. And your ministry will grow better in the name of Jesus. We grow from praise to praise in the name of Jesus. We grow from high to high in the name of Jesus. Can we rise our 
Après, c'est un mieux, je vais accrocher le corps parce qu'il y a un temps où on descend ses choses. Il faut vous voir au plaît. Juste accrocher le corps. C'est le Father, I thank you for your word. Talk to him. The Bible says that the entrance of his word brings light and it brings understanding. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode showing on this station at 2.30 p.m. tomorrow. Also, follow us on YouTube and Facebook. The Leadership Governance Jalingo 2021 is here. It is an interdenominational ministers conference that deals with church leadership and church governance with the theme, Becoming a Better Leader Through Loyalty and Followership. You can be as brilliant as anything if you are not loyal to your master you will not gain access to his heart. This year, the 2021 edition promises to be better. Over 23 books authored by the convener, Dr. Victor Falak, will be on display. The raw materials for converting a follower to a leader is loyalty. Only registered participants will be entitled to a copy each of the book titled Pastoral Loyalty and Followership, along with other inspiring conference materials. Date 13th and 14th October 2021, time 7 a.m. daily, venue Khan Secretariat, Jalingo. For participation, hurry now and register at www.godsgraceandlove.org forward slash register. Be there. Oh man, oh man, knowledge is the key. Oh man, oh man, knowledge is the key.